Hello, Jess 2 Film here, and I want to review Guillermo del Toro's, I totally said his name wrong, and I love him, Pinocchio. I'm bad at pronouncing names. This is probably my favorite movie of 2022 that is animated that I've seen so far. Mind you, I haven't seen the Apollo movie, and I haven't seen the new Cartoon Saloon, or that one anime movie that people are praising. I did see stuff like Bell, which I, I think I counted as a 2021 movie. I saw Turning Red, which I didn't really care for. Lightyear freaking sucked. What else was there? Strange World freaking sucked. Uh, I haven't seen DC Super Pets, <laughs> but I don't even think I will, honestly, at this point. So right off the bat, what I loved about this movie was the design of the dolls for the humans. They use these stop motion dolls, which remind me a bit of Anomalisa, which has this rough human expressiveness to it, where it's not all cutesy and it's not this cartoony movement or anything, which those work in certain movies. In this movie, since <laughs> it deals with a lot more heavier subjects, I love how the design of the dolls communicates that so well with the roughness, with the realism. And even the Pinocchio design is creepy and people in the movie act like the design of Pinocchio is creepy, which is how people would react. Like in the new Disney one, that's a creepy design, but nobody's like, whoa, <laughs> it's, it doesn't make much sense to me. So I really like how they did that in this movie. Now, I did not like, it. it's, it's one of the biggest problems with this, right away, it, there's a great opening, but then they start doing a song and the music of this movie does not stick. It's annoying and it breaks a lot of the uh, engagement I had. Thankfully, thankfully they don't put too many songs. And they even make fun in the movie of how these songs can come up and be annoying. And they do that twice. So yeah, that little bit of self-awareness almost makes me like, oh, why didn't you just cut the songs? But after they're done singing, oh my gosh, there's an extremely effective emotional moment right off the bat. And it's handled so well. It got me going a bit. <laughs> and uh, I feel like the, the film almost cuts too quick from that into the next part in terms of the levity of just bringing a more lighter situation. But that's about the closest the movie gets to like bathosing out, which is basically when they undercut a serious moment with a joke or whatever. And other than that, I think the latter half of the movie has some really effective emotional stuff that's never even undercut. And I, I love that. I love that this is serious. And yes, kids could see these movies that are emotional because these are real emotions and everything. And they don't shy away from the horrors of reality. I mean, this is about, <laughs> it's set in fascist Italy. <laughs> in the 1930s. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Friggin' Mussolini shows up, and I'm glad what it denounces in the movie. I think this is a good learning tool for children, though I would not show this to maybe kids under nine. I think it is maybe too heavy and even frightening at points for super young kids. Uh, and I was expecting this to maybe roast uh, religion a bit, because it almost seemed like they were doing that a bit, but for people who are religious, it's actually pretty respectful to religion, and I would say... In many ways, they almost make the Jesus parallel with Pinocchio, which some people will dig. So yeah, I really dug even the narrative of this movie, though I do think the third act has like one moment where it's like, come on, convenience, 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 when nothing else in the movie is convenient. They actually do such a great job of making everything feel organic, which so many animated and just regular movies in general do not do right, which I love that. But it was a little bit annoying in like the climax part to see, okay, they're going with some really, really crazy conveniences. How did that get there at that moment, at that moment? Uh, but then that's just like one little part and then it's just after that, perfect. And then how the ending is handled. Again, these are not spoiler reviews. I don't do spoilers. I really like that. At first I was like, wait, this is not a... And then I was like, okay, yeah, this is great. And the ending I think is fantastic. And it, it really did get me. And then one stupid thing that will probably not annoy most people is uh, I didn't like that there's just like random English accents. There's not even an attempt to, you know, put it in Italian, <laughs> which it's the pianist problem if you guys have seen the pianist <laughs> where uh, they're not speaking the native language, but it's, it's such a small problem. So it doesn't really, it doesn't bother me too much. And the ending even made me think a bit, which is fantastic. So yes, I'd rate this one a 7 out of 10. Really love how this came out. If you guys have seen this already, let me know what you guys think in the comments and what other recent things you'd want me to review. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.